Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will discuss the 0.2% offset rule. So what is this 0.2% offset rule or we can, others, uh, we can say that 0 0.002 uh, strain. So why it is important and what we do with this 0.2% offset rule. In the tensile testing video, we have discussed the stress strain curve in detail, right? So let us draw the stress strain curve. We have the curve like this for a ductile material, right? So we have the stress here, we have strain here, right? We know this that here the fracture occur. So here we have the fracture point, right? We have the ultimate tensile strength here, the UTS here, and here we have the elastic region from here to here. This is the elastic region on the stress strain curve. Now what happens actually when we are increasing the stress from here, we see the strain here and tell the, pro the proportional limit this happen and we see the linear relationship between stress and strain. But there is something which is like unusual happens at this point. Now here look, we have the straight line, right? And usually this is not straight, it actually goes like up and then goes down and then it, the strain hardening starts from here. But this happens for very, very uh, short period of time. This happens very fast, right? So usually you will not see like this. But as it happens very fast, so what we are doing, we say that this is a straight line like this, the proportional limit is same as the yield point. So this is the yield point. And if we say further, this is the upper proportional limit, this is the lower proportional limit, right? If we take this curve, not a straight line, but as it happens very fast, so we are taking it straight. Now, what happens actually here? When we reach here, we are still trying to apply the stress to the material. We are applying the force, but the material is not taking more force and it is deforming from here to here. We can see the strain, right? But the material is not taking force. So without applying the force, there is deformation in the material. Now why it happens? If you remember the structure of the crystalline side, we discussed that the atoms are arranged in proper order. Let's say we have the atoms in some order like this. And then we have an, another atom here. So if an atom comes here, let's suppose, which is not in the proper order, then all the atoms will have like gaps between them. So here we have this big gaps, right? The gaps like this, or maybe we have another atoms here. So then the atoms are going here, but we have gap here. And we call it grain boundaries, right? We call this one grain boundaries. Now what happens? We are applying the force on the material. We are applying force on the material. So these atoms, once they reach their ultimate position, then they slip over one another. For because there is a free space, the grain boundaries, so the atom slips to that uh, free space. Now when it slips, because, uh, because, the, 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 because of the slipping, the material or the atom, they will not take more force, but they will deform. And that is deformation is because of the slipping of the uh, atoms the grain boundaries to the grain boundaries. So that's why we see here the deformation without the uh, increase in stress. So this happens very, very uh, fast, right? And after this point, the material goes back and we see the strain hardening uh, here. Then the material reach to UTS, the ultimate tensile strain, strain position, then the necking starts and somewhere at the necking we see the fracture. This we have already discussed. Now the question is the 0.2% offset rule. In majority of the material, we see, we don't see the curve like this, right? Usually the curve is like this. You might have seen, even if you have performed the experiments in the materials lab, so you might have seen where many material, the curve is just like this line, right? So let me make it clear. It is like this type of line. Now here we have stress, here we have strain. 
here it is very difficult to say where is the yield points, where is the proportional limit, where the curve is elastic and where it is plastic. It is difficult. So, from some of the experiment and from some materials we came to this conclusion that this point occurs mostly at 0.002 strain right. So, if let me this point if I draw a parallel line from here right parallel to the elastic region. Now, this point is 0.002 strain right. So, 0.002 strain means 0.2 percent right. So, 0.2 percent is 0.002. Now, for most of the material it happens at 0.002 strain the yield point. So, then if we have a curve stress strain curve where it is difficult to say where is the proportional limit, where is the yield point. So, what we do in that case we go 0.002 strain and we draw a curve parallel to the elastic point and here this point we say that this is what this is the yield the yield point or the yield strain this way sigma y this is the yield point. So, this is how we find the yield point or the proportional limit in a curve where the this position is not very much clear. So, that is why we use the 0.2 percent offset rule this is 0.2 percent offset from the elastic uh, curve right at an offset of 0, 0.002 percent. We draw a line parallel to the elastic line the, 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 the elastic curve and wherever it touches the stress strain curve that point is the yield point and proportional uh, limit right. Now, this 0.2 percent is let us say we use we are not using 0.2 percent. So, what will happen this is interesting let us say I want to use at 0.001 percent. So, then the curve will be here. So, I will get the yield point somewhere here I will say that this is my yield point and in industries where they are worrying about the safety and where safety has a great importance what they do they will not use 0.002 percent they are using lower value. So, their safe working stress or the stress they, they, they want to use in the design it will be very much less in the from the yield stress and it is like 100 percent it is in the elastic region and if it is in the elastic region. So, they are safe they can use their stress value in their design. So, depending from industry to industry like in the aerospace industry mostly they will be using less than 0.2 uh, percent offset rule to find the yield strength or find the proportional limit. So, that is it from this video we will see you in the another video.